Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Here I've got a beautiful rack of ribs. The first thing we want to do is clean it and separate this membrane. And what you want to do is take a paper towel and just grab the edge of it because it's really slippery. Just give it a good pull and you should be able to take it all the way down and off. Make sure you get all of it too. Then you come back with a knife and you score the back side of it. Only the side with the bones. This allows the flavor to penetrate through the meat. Then you're going to cut every individual bone right out. Separate every rib. And once you've got a good pile like this, you can start poaching. This is going to take about 25 minutes. Make sure everything's underneath the water and bring it to a boil. Then you'll start to see the blood separate like this. It's no big deal, that's normal. But what you're looking for is the color on the end of these bones. You want to make sure with your fingernail you can't scratch out any more red. Then you're going to strain them. Then come back over them and give them a good rinse. Now here's our ingredients. Cilantro, green onion, soy sauce, Mishu cooking wine, chicken broth, I've got some black pepper, some anise, some garlic. And what we're going to do is go right over the top of that with the chicken stock first. Fill that all the way back to the top. Then a little bit of soy sauce. Throw in that bunch of onions, that cilantro, some pepper, that Mishu cooking wine, and that anise. You can throw some ginger in there as well if you'd like. We'll just go with the garlic. Get that down in there. And then come back about every five minutes and give it a good stir. Make sure none of the ribs are burning on the bottom. It's going to take about an hour to fully cook and infuse this flavor. But I like to throw in a little bit of sugar, and this is optional. Just like my ribs to be a little sweet. Also a little sesame oil. Again, optional. But make sure that these ribs are always covered with liquid. Now what you're looking for is this meat. When it's trying to separate from the bone, you don't want it to fall off the bone. You want it right before it does. And you can pull every one of these out, throw them on a pan and pull them off. Now if you'd like, you can eat them this way because they are delicious. Or you can wait till the next step. Either way, at this point, they're good to go. And this rib broth can be saved too. This stuff is excellent and wonton soup. All you do is strain it like this. As you can see, it's got a real nice color to it. Trust me, that flavor's great. And now the next step, all you gotta do is drop these in a fryer. Put them in for just a couple minutes. And in the meantime, you wanna mix a little bit of sugar and some five spice powder. If you don't have five spice powder, you can just use cinnamon. And there's your ratio. And when these are done, all you've got to do is throw them in a big old bowl like this. And take a heaping tablespoon of that mixture. Throw it right over the top. And give them a good toss. And your presentation can be fun. Just stacking it up like a log cabin. And of course, our sugar and five spice powder. And there you have it. Northern short ribs, right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. 
Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.